How we doing everybody? Looking here at a Generac Megaforce 6500 watt generator that I'm repairing for somebody. During the last tropical storm here in Connecticut, uh, he was using it obviously because he had lost power. And it ran out of fuel. He refueled it and uh, it would not restart. So, I gave him some basic troubleshooting things over the phone and he couldn't get it going. So, he did bring it down to me to take a look at it. And, uh, kind of, now, well, can't really show you what I found, but, uh, you know, I kind of tell you about what I found. So, checked it out, pulled it over, had spark, really didn't feel like it had much compression left. Um, so I did give it a squirt of brake ports cleaner down the carburetor and it would not fire off. Put a compression gauge on it. No compression whatsoever. So I decided to see, okay, hey, where's my compression going? So did a leak down test and uh, it was leaking out of the exhaust valve. So I pulled the rocker cover off. I found the exhaust rocker and push rod loose and I was able to pull the uh, exhaust push rod out by hand which shouldn't be able to do that. So I ended up pulling the cylinder head off and what I did find was that the exhaust valve was really coked up, you know really bad carboned up. And the exhaust valve, I actually could not pull it out of the cylinder head by hand. I had to take a brass punch and punch it out. So I did take and I cleaned up the cylinder head in my ultrasonic cleaner. And I also you know, cleaned the other valve train components. They cleaned up really, really nice. And so after I clean the valve stem and valve guide on the exhaust side, the valve moves like it should now. And you know, again, just cleaned everything in the ultrasonic. I did clean the valve guides with these little bore brushes that I have. So I just ordered all my parts earlier. Um, as for parts, obviously top end gasket set, so rocker cover gasket, head gasket, exhaust gasket, carburetor gaskets, um, ordered a new lock or new jam nut here for the uh, intake valve adjuster that was really tight coming off and I did manage to round it off, so I want to uh, make sure it's right going back together. Ordered new head bolts because they were, seemed like they were really stupidly tight and I ended up, you know, rounding that one off, so. Figured new set of head bolts is in order. Also ordered a new pre-cleaner new air filter, new oil filter to change the oil when I'm done test running it. Gonna be tossing a new plug in it. Plug is pretty worn. And this machine has it's had over 1400 hours on it. Now as far as what caused all of that coking up and the valve is talked to a buddy of mine who he's been doing OPE repair for a lot longer than I have and one thing he asked me was does this generator have an idle control which this one does and he informed me that small air cooled engines are designed to pretty much run at 3600 RPM all the time 
And he says, especially with overhead valve engines, extended idling will cause them to carbon up. So, kind of figured out what happened there. So once I get all my parts, I can get my cylinder head back together. Um, I'm going to be lapping the valves in and uh, put her back together and run her. And once uh, back together and running, I will shoot another update video. Thanks for watching.